All right, so we'll begin the tour of my office. And you guys have already seen it before, but there has been a lot of changes since I last made a video about a year ago. And uh, I guess we'll start with this wall. We moved uh, everything over to this side. Um, there's been a lot of changes on this wall. My fiance, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, uh, she started adding a little bit more of, a, of an artistic feel to it. So we moved the canvas the Omens uh, graffiti canvas to this side. Um, we have my two dogs there. They love to stay in here because it's super hot. And it, it gets super hot in here because of the of the computers. But my bamboo trees are getting as big as ever. Uh, this is my the tripod that I use uh, to do the recording. It's a sun pack. It wasn't that expensive, so it was pretty good. I have a Rode mic right here. These are all the games. Uh, let me focus in here a little bit for you guys. There you go. We are... We go back all the way to Call of Duty 2, all the way to the current Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and then we have like other stuff. Um, two old, old 2011 Pro Circuit Awards. Uh, this is something that was given to us by a fan. It was received in the in the Optic mailbox. Uh, some more stuff over here. I, I I have to sign these to so we can send these out. Um, to you guys. Uh, Judith framed this for me and it typically hangs outside my office but right now they are uh, she's decorating for my daughter's fifth birthday so it was moved into my office uh, so it doesn't interfere with the with the theme. Uh, this is our 2010 uh, jersey I believe. Yeah it has to be because it's got evil controllers up there. I don't even know if they're still a thing. Uh, the canvases were moved over to this side. Uh, as always I have my little my little crew of Steve's, uh, Diamond Steve, regular Steve. Ew, so gross. What? Oh, it's disgusting. And then we have that. We have this, and ugh, this is gross. Like, ugh, yuck. What is this? So disgusting. Um, and it, everything's pretty much uh, uh, like the rest of the stuff. It's my plain pillow, uh, A50s, A50s, A40s that I'm using right now. And then the box for the A38s that I use. More bamboo trees. And then down here is like the Black Ops 1 unopened. Um, uh, was a prestige thing. And then I have another one in there as well. But that's for Modern Warfare. Or, yeah, it's for Modern Warfare 2. So let's get to the setup. And I'll do give you a panorama. A panorama with me. Watching a little Walking Dead. Two, 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 catching up. Okay, so uh, pretty standard uh, setup. I have the... The, it's like a stand, this thing is a stand that has like one arm that allows these to be floating in a sense. This is like the only uh, monitor that has the actual stand. Everything else is like an extended arm. Um, let me see if I can get a good angle here. It's an extended arm that that does that. Uh, I exchanged, or didn't exchange, but I bought a new TV. I was actually kind of surprised to, to see that 50 inch TVs are running super low. It's a 4K Samsung uh, Obviously, it's a smart TV because it's it's just you know everything. All TVs are smart now. Um, on this wall, I have my Astro Gaming uh, carry case for the A38s, but I use this to put my toothbrush and other stuff in there. You know, I'm very crafty with the things that I get. These are all the VIP passes that I've acquired and accumulated over the years. Uh, let's see if I can get you guys a a good look at some throwbacks here. 2011. Columbus. Ooh, whoa, dudes! I think that I just uh, we're going to Columbus uh, this weekend. Okay, this is a. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, the unboxing review of the games Optic Gaming case. It actually is uh, one of the funnest things that I've used, simply because I get a chance to uh, set the Xbox up here for my brother. Um, who comes over and then we play side by side. If you guys have seen the Optic Brothers videos, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, down there I have uh, my PC, which is what I used to stream. I have, I still have my Mac Pro, and I'll give you guys all the, all the specs and those in there. So, uh, over here we have a PS4, my, my amazing, amazing baby blue colored uh, Astro A40s with the new mix amp. Let's, Open up this drawer and to show you guys what I have in here is just pretty much uh, the PS4 controller and then there's another one back there somewhere. But uh, PS4 controller, my this was actually supposed to be given to Ego, the icon, my, my friend, but I never got around to it because he didn't grab it at the event that we were at. Um, 
some stuff, seventh letter stickers from when I went down there, stuff, Astro, uh, A40 um, tabs. All right, and then we continue to pan on, and then on this drawer, I have some chapstick, uh, some paracord bracelets, lotion, chapstick, 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 this, that, uh, my cabello, this is, I have my fishing license in there. Let's see what else I have in this one. Uh, Chipotle napkins, because I just grab a whole bunch of them just in case I need them. This is where I keep all my, my USBs and my SD cards. Um, this is pretty cool. This is, I believe, a terabyte or half a terabyte of memory. Uh, same thing with this one. These were all handed to me at, a, or they're given to me at, at, a, at the Ghost Reveal. We have uh, my business phone in there is an iPhone 6, which I like way better than my 6 Plus over there. If this one had that one's camera, we'd be using this one because that one's way too big. Just some Sharpies, uh, Passport, uh, that. Uh, this is my laptop. Okay, it is a 13-inch Retina display uh, MacBook with a whole bunch of stickers, and I'll give you guys the rundown on the stickers since I get a lot of questions. Let me unplug this, and then I get a lot of questions on what the stickers are. Um, so there are a whole bunch of stuff, right? Uh, Astro, obviously, you guys know who that is. Off the gaming, you guys know who that is. Click clack. That's the seventh letter uh, sticker. Seventh letter is like this world famous graffiti. Uh, conglomerate. We have Maya Knight, we have my boy Nate Shot. I'm waiting for my Scumpy uh, stickers and then soon my Embos stickers uh, to add on to the collection. Uh, nice kicks uh, from I believe it was Boston that we went to. It may have not been Boston, it was somewhere else. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, Austin. <coughs> uh, Austin, seventh letter. Uh, Blanc God, and a lot of you are immediately when you see Blanc God, you're like, oh my god, you're fucking smoking marriage, you're injecting marijuanas. Uh, Blanc God is actually a, uh, a name of, uh, of the guy that painted that. His name, his graffiti name is Omens, but on Instagram, his name is hashtag Blanc God. Um, and, you know, that's my, it's like my, one of my oldest friends in, in the world, so, you know, I gotta, I gotta represent him. Uh, LA Go from, uh, from the seventh letter, some Red Bull crate or Kate, Modest Ink. They're uh, one of those. Uh, it's like a shop. It's like an undefeated shop, but in uh, in Chicago. And uh, yeah, that's that. Some of the oh, and some mystery tackle box back here. I usually just put the stickers all over the place and and, and get going. Um, and then this finally on this drawer, we just have a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, where do we begin? All right, so we have all the GoPro stuff here. We have uh, uh, the GoPro Hero 3, the old school GoPro 2s, uh, some more lotion, uh, lenses, controller for that, some uh, harnesses or whatever. Uh, this, HDMI's, iPhone stuff in here is a whole bunch of uh, USB things. Uh, USBs, yeah, right, so, because I, you know, you gotta be prepared, so you gotta have like everything, all the, all the iPhone chargers that you can get, the more the, the, the better. Uh, over here, uh, I have this desk here because this is what, what I typically do or use to, to, uh, to draw. And I started drawing something, and I'll show you guys as we come over here. Uh, I started drawing something. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's right here. And I started doing this Mayanite piece because I wanted to to do something because I hadn't, I hadn't uh, drawn anything in a long time, so I... I came and then I, let me see if I can zoom out, let's hold it like this, focus a little bit, and uh, so this is the Mayanite piece that I that I started working on, never finished, uh, let me show you a little bit of detail, it's all done with, with, uh, with Prisma markers, so all the blends you see here is like all, takes a little bit of time to do, but I never got around to finishing it, I will though, uh, this is, as you guys all know, and I'm praying right now as I'm grabbing this, I'm praying that I do not drop, okay, I'm gonna drop it, fuck me, no, okay, good. First time in like a couple of setup videos that I don't drop. Uh, I still use uh, the same thing as always, Prisma markers, I've had these for years, they last such a long time, uh, hopefully this year I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get motivated and then go buy some, um, some Iron Lax Strikers or some Copics to try those out. Um, in this box we have some more GoPro stuff. Uh, this is a book of stickers, more graffiti stuff. These are all my graffiti books that I've uh, that I've collected over the years. 
Uh, I know that a lot of you are like, actually, you don't work. I do fucking work out. I just don't work out all the time. Um, my Astro Gaming backpack. This is by far like one of my favorite things to to carry. Hopefully this year or next year we're gonna come out with our own uh, backpack so we can have some optic stuff in there. And then in this thing, it's like a, a big old secret. Not a secret, but. In here, I keep like a whole bunch of like extra stuff, and it's not like I'm not. It's not. I mean, it's not that old of a stuff, but it's a. Uh, it's pretty old. Uh, Dr Pepper 2012 Dallas Texas, and then we have another Dallas Texas 2013 from when Dr Pepper used to sponsor um, shirts. We have uh, the original 838s that uh, I dropped and broke. I have some 840s here. Uh, oh, this is my. Yeah, it's my West Ham. The mighty hammers. Koi! Are you guys forever blowing bubbles or what? Um, I'm going to put that up in my garage. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go show you guys. Um, let me flip this around so you guys can see a little bit of me. God damn it. I don't, know how, I don't know how focused this is, but I'm gonna go show you guys, uh, maybe like in a couple hours, I'm gonna go record some stuff in the garage to show you guys my fishing setup and then uh, we'll finish it off that way, all right? We'll be right back. All right guys, and here we are. This is my fishing setup. I figured that I would bring you out into my garage because I needed to show you, I didn't need to, but I wanted to show you guys my fishing setup because it's such a big part of my life that I figured, you know, not, you know, gaming is my gaming setup and everything, but I want to show you guys like every single aspect of, uh, of what I do. So, uh, quick run around, you know, this, this is, okay, that's my ice fishing gear up there. That's my bucket. Uh, that's obviously my, my, that small fishing pole for ice fishing. I said that I would never go ice fishing again, uh, because of how much fun I didn't have last time, but I figured, you know what, since, uh, since it's been a year, I think that I am gonna I am gonna go this year. So it's just a matter of time before I actually you know get out there and start snowing and the water starts freezing and and etc. So uh, this whole thing was all set up by my fiance Judith. She's a she's a, she's an aspiring interior decorator. And if you if you would ever been to my house, you would have noticed that because of how amazing uh, she decorated. But she put all these shelvings together and like she did it herself. She didn't have any help. Um, she asked me for help and I said, no, thank you. I am not gonna get these hands dirty. Uh, but she put all this together for me, uh, you know, the background and I just ended up uh, filling it up. This is my portable uh, fishing rod. Uh, this rod right here is, this is the first fishing rod and reel that I ever uh, bought. Uh, I bought it when I was 17 years old. It still works, it's 17 years old. It's a Sahara 2000 uh, and it's still, like, it's still in working condition. So uh, since then I've obviously upgraded. Um, I now have stuff from uh, Abu Garcia. Uh, the reel is, I think it's Abu Gar as well, maybe? I don't know. Uh, this is a Quantum Smoke with an Abu Garcia villain, uh, uh, what is it, rod. I uh, got some Daywa stuff and then just an Ignite uh, st uh, and regularly ignite all the way at the top. This is my my bass. I caught a bass a little bit bigger than that this year, the biggest uh, fish I've ever caught. Uh, so you know, it is what it is. I, I I wanted to show you guys this because it's such a like such a good hobby to have, right? You you know, being stuck in a in a in an office or in in a room playing video games is, is awesome and stuff. But you also want to be able to be active and and stuff. Uh, we have some some old school lures uh, as decoration. Judith got those for me as well. Uh, over here we have all of my, all of the stuff that I've gotten through through these people right here. What you mean these people? Mystery tackle box, it's like the coolest thing ever. Like, every, like once a month you get a box full of goodies. And just to give you guys an idea, right? Like each one of these has come in every single box and these if you go to the store like these types of lures They're super super expensive. I'm not super expensive, but like If you think about spending $12 on a lure like this on a popper on a On a jig on anything right on all these swim baits like if you think about it, right? Everything that you get here like cost something and I don't know what the price is because they send me free boxes and I, I appreciate them uh, doing that but um if you pay 11 bucks a month to get, you know, a $7 thing on top of like a whole bunch of like different plastics and this is all like the stuff that I've gotten. And a lot of people are like, well, what are you gonna do with all that? You know, it's, not, it's that doesn't even make sense. You're never gonna get to use it. Well, I say that you're wrong. I've used every single one that I have here, right? I've, I've put inside of these Cabela's, 
uh, I, I put in there and that's what I, you know, I, I take them and I try different things, you know, you, you try to match the hatch until it hits and once it hits, you're good to go. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, so this TV is the old TV that used to be on my, in my office and I'm gonna mount it up there. Not that I'll ever spend any time out here, but like in the summers, I do like to spend some time out here when I'm not obviously playing games and like even playing games has gotten a little bit too, too time consuming and I don't have time to do that. But uh, my friend, uh, who you guys see in videos, like my fishing videos uh, usually include this dude in it. He just gave me this as a present um, for musky fishing. It is, it is an Abu Ghar, uh, I mean, I don't know the model or anything, but it's fucking huge. And I'm, I'm super thankful. My boy Eric, thank you very much for, uh, for the amazing present. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna conclude my setup. I got my my uh, my Cabela's backpack, and it comes with a little one right there. So this I usually carry with me all the time when I when I when I'm out um, during the summer because you never know when you want to pull over and and you know use use the portable uh, fishing rod and then go fishing. But um, I don't know if you guys have any questions. I'm gonna leave the majority of the information on, on what ro I mean what what poles I have up there and. And like the uh, link for the mystery tackle box, if you guys wanna wanna you know subscribe to that, so you guys can can uh, can get some some cool stuff like I just showed you. Uh, typically, what you get is you get like two of these, two of these, one of these, one of these, and always without fail, you get one of these. Um, let me focus in. Whoop. You get one of these hooks. Uh, sometimes they give you some of that. Uh, sometimes I give you some of that. This is my ice fishing, ice fishing uh, little box. Let me focus right there. Some, some jigs. Thank you for tuning in to my setup video. I know that not a lot has actually changed since since last year, except for a little bit of rearrangement, some uh, some pretty cool uh, textures on the walls, a uh, new coat of paint, uh, thanks to my fiance Judith. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like. Uh, you know, again, if, if little by little, all this stuff came together, so don't think that it was all done like in, in, in one swift motion of me going to Best Buy or wherever to, to buy a whole bunch of monitors uh, and, and get this going. It all happened, you know, gradually through the course of the year. So if you're just getting started on your own gaming setup, you know, be patient, give it time, and whenever the time uh, and money allows, you know, buy, buy yourself something else, little by little, add, add posters, add whatever you can. and and you can have a, a pretty good uh, gaming setup as well. Uh, I do ask, if you got somebody question and I didn't answer in the description, please leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, and you know what, leave me a link to your setup video if you guys have set up your, your own setups. Um, and let me know how that goes, cool? Uh, hope you guys enjoy the fishing setup uh, as well. I know that's a little bit uh, out, of the, out of the norm, but you know, I figured why not include that into this video. Uh, anyway, so until next time guys, as always, this has been Off The Hacks, I'm out, peace.